stick with you for life. Tonight, News 11's Ken Speak introduces us to a man whose life was changed one Christmas with a gift of a toy train. Some folks would find this boring, and there are others who'd say boring is too nice a word for what they'd call playing with trains. Not folks like Jerry Brimacombe, though. For folks like him, working with scale model trains is almost paradise, certainly a passion. Brimacombe worked three years modeling his own passion, the 1938 New York Central 20th Century Limited. And when he sees his detailed model, his baby, if you will, pull out, well, there's something happens. To become a locomotive engineer on, on one of the great limiteds was, uh, uh, boy, that was the dream of every kid. The upscale model trains bring back memories for Jerry Brimacombe. They romance, the history, the development of America. That's one reason he spends time talking to curious folks visiting the Twin City Model Railroad Club, because he wants to share his amazement with one part of America that is history now, the coal-powered steam engine that pulled the 20th Century Limited. But his fascination with steam power doesn't explain why he spends hours painting the folks who will ride his train. That, he admits, may have gotten its start with the toy train he spent untold hours running around a Christmas tree when he was a kid. The glamour of trains sparked an interest that really took fire in the past 10 years that makes Jerry Brimacombe take the time to put life into a hobby. Ken Speak, News 11, Edina. Coming up next, we'll take a step back in time with a replica of the 20th Century Limited, a train remembered for its comfort, style, and speed. Where you can't take a ride on the reading, but you can get a glimpse of the 20th century limit. This replica of the famous passenger train, which ran from 1902 to 1968, has been recreated by Jerry Brimacombe, who researched and reproduced every detail right down to the custom paints. The, the 20th century was probably the most famous passenger train that ever ran in America. There have been books written on it. Uh, there was a very successful Broadway play that was done on the 20th century. Uh, Anybody who was anybody rode that train. If this 1938 version, version was originally designed for the New York City Railroad and is a classic example of the late Art Deco period. Offering the ultimate in passenger train travel, the 20th Century Deluxe Pullman offered red carpet service.
Trying to figure out why the sound didn't work. The battery must have just went dead.
drain tile too. So it wouldn't be fastened all the way along in there, just sitting in there, held apart by horizontal chunks of wood. But then they could be fastened from the track side on both sides. Otherwise, once you get one in, you can't get the other. Don't you like snowstorms? Don't you think that would be a good idea though? When he goes to the barber shop for a haircut, and that's exactly what it is. <laughs> a haircut. with the 3985 and the 3900 chase and each with their own train. Oh good, that's great. So, that a, uh, Old Overland is a beautiful thing. That was a lot of fun. So how's the train business been today? It's been really busy. That's our first uh, where, uh, week, weekend where we featured a specific railroad and uh, it's ex we feel real successful. We're real pleased with uh, with the turnout. I haven't checked how many people since three o'clock, but at that time we had almost 800. So very surprised for a day like today. Very, very surprised, especially with the football game. So what line are you uh, featuring today? Uh, today is Union Pacific Day. Uh, in February, we're going to feature the circus trains, and there will also be other circus displays throughout the center. And March will be Northern Pacific Day. Beyond that, I can't remember. <laughs> How many trains do you have? How many trains do you uh, do you have here running right now? Right now, we're running four trains. Earlier, we were running uh, seven, which keeps you real busy because we had three on the same track. <laughs> but uh, you, you got to pay attention to that. 
especially when they all run the different speed. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> what have been some of the comments you hear from people about uh, all these trains? Uh, they're real impressed. They're uh, real impressed with the uh, scenery that we have on the north side, which has mostly been finished in the last uh, 12 months and uh, some of these trains haven't been down here before and for Union Pacific this is the first time that we've gotten everybody's equipment together one time. It's, it's been real well received.